Hello coders and welcome to another How to Code Well PHP tutorial. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the count function of PHP. This will count the elements of an array. It can also count arrays that are multi-dimensional, so counting the nested elements in the array. We'll take a look at that as well. Let's get into the code. Let's get to it. So the first thing we need, of course, is an array. So we're going to create one. We're just going to have a variable called items. And this is going to have an array of food. This is going to be sugar. We're going to have drink. And this is going to be water. And we're going to have a website. And this is going to equal HTTP how to code well dot net. So this is the array and we would like to count the elements upon that array. There's three elements here. So sugar, water, and the web address. And what we're going to do is print out the count of items. Now, before I pass in the items variable as the argument of the count function call, let's first go to the documentation. So the count function call takes two arguments. The first one is var. Now var is the array that we wish to count. Mode is the type of count that it's going to do. By default, it's set to count underscore normal. Let's go up to the documentation and see what that means. So right to the top here, it counts all elements in an array or subject in an object. For objects, if you have an SPL installed, you can hook into counts by implementing interface C countable. The interface has exactly one method, C countable count, which returns the value for the count function. Please see array section of the manual for a detailed explanation of how arrays are implemented and used in PHP. So this means that we can also count elements that are stored in an object that implements a countable interface. Don't worry too much about this because we're going to be dealing with arrays in this tutorial. We also have the link. Now this is the link to the PHP documentation. I highly recommend that you check it out for other examples. So the parameter that you first supply is an array or an object that implements countable. This is the variable. The second argument that we can pass to this function call is mode. It is an integer and it is also optional. If the optional mode parameter is set to count underscore recursive or one, count will recursively count the array. This is particularly useful for counting all elements of a multi-dimensional array. Count does not detect infinite recursion. So we're going to be playing around with multi-dimensional arrays in this example. It returns an integer, the number of elements in var, so var being the first argument that you supply, which is typically an array since anything else will have one element. If var is not an array or an object implementing countable interface, one will be returned. There is one exception. If var is null, zero will be returned. And then we have a caution here. Caution, count may return zero for a variable that isn't set, but it may also return zero for a variable that has been initialized with an empty array. Use is set to test if the variable is set. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go back to the code and start playing around with this function. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy the items array here and paste it in as our first argument to count. Now all of this code is in source control, which is available. I've got a link in the description below. And I've also added a link to a video that I've done demonstrating how to use the internal PHP local server that you can use to test your work. So save the file and then go into the browser and point to this file. This is the count.php file. In the output here, we can see that three is returned. This is because we have three elements in this array. Therefore, the count is three. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and play around with multi-dimensional arrays. Let's go back to the code. Let's say, for example, this is websites rather than website, and this is another array, so a nested array of websites. Let's add the first one here, which is howtocowell.net. We're also going to add the podcast website as well. So let's just copy that and paste that below. So this is howtocowell.fm. Of course, both of these sites do use HTTPS. I should have added that before. And let's fix the indentation like so. Let's create another portion of this array. Let's do tutorials. And this is going to be another nested array. Now this is a multi-dimensional array because we have arrays within arrays. And we're going to create another array in here called PHP. And we're also going to have another array here called Docker. In this array, we're going to have Docker in motion. This is a course that I've done for Manning Publications. We're also going to have an element in the PHP nested array called PHP for beginners. And we're also going to create another array here called Python. This array will contain hands-on with microservices with Python. And we're also going to have another one of my courses called Master Python Clean Coding. Okay, so we've got quite a big array here. And what we're going to do is count the items once again. So let's hit save, go back to the browser and refresh the page. So the count has gone to four. This is because we added a tutorials element to this array, but notice that it hasn't counted recursively. So it's not including all of the elements within the multi-dimensional array. We can adjust this by changing the mode that we pass in. What we need to do is pass in the second argument, which is mode. Now this could either be one or it could be count recursive. Press save and let's go back to the browser. Refresh the page and you should see that the count has increased to 13. We've gone from a count of four to 13 because now we are recursively counting all of the elements within this multi-dimensional array. Now the documentation mentions that we can also count objects that implement the countable interface. We haven't dealt with any of that yet, but that is coming soon. So please make sure that you do subscribe to How To Code Well to get the future tutorials and courses. Of course, if you found this video helpful, then please let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Also, if you've got any questions, then don't hesitate to ask, but do ask them on the Discord server. Go to howtocowell.net forward slash Discord. And also do check out the other courses and tutorials that I've done there. I've dealt with Linux, JavaScript, Docker, and more. Thank you ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everybody. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers. Bye.